Oh, hey there. Please don't mind me. I'm just a little unhappy with the food habits of my clients. You see, they're eating too much acidic food, which isn't bad in moderation, but when eaten all the time, it can have terrible effects. Let's talk about some of them. Tomatoes, onions, coffee. We're talking about all those and more. Let's start with an unlikely culprit. Number one, tomatoes. Tomatoes are one of the most acidic fruits out there. They have a lot of good things in them too, including water, fiber, and protein. All of these things are good for a healthy gut, skin, and eyes. Unfortunately, if you have too much of them, you might have problems. Tomatoes are often grown in acidic soil. As a result, they have a very high pH level, ranging from 4.2 to 4.3. This is why eating too many tomatoes can cause problems for your heart, as well as your gut. Try to limit your daily tomato consumption to five. Our next culprit is a popular one. Number two, carbonated drinks. Yes, I know we all love to sip on Coca-Cola or Pepsi during the summer. They're chilled drinks and are often a good alternative to enjoy a party. That doesn't mean that they're healthy. While carbonated drinks may have cool advertisements, they also have very high pH levels. Typically, Coca-Cola has a pH rating of 2.37. Pepsi isn't too far behind either. It has a score of 2.39. When you drink too much, you're likely to get some stomach problems. On the other hand, if consumed in moderation, it can be food for your stomach. In a study, a patient with gastric phytobezoars was asked to consume Coca-Cola and it helped clean her stomach. Meaning, it's not all bad. It has pros too. Just don't drink more than one or two glasses. Number three, citric fruits. This is one entry that needs to be taken with a grain of salt. Fruits such as lemons and oranges contain many different types of vitamins and minerals. All of these are important to the development of our body. On the downside though, they also contain acid. A glass of orange juice can contain a 3.0 pH level, whereas the same amount of lemon juice can have a pH level of 2.4. This is because they also need acidic soil to grow. That doesn't mean that you should stop consuming them. As a matter of fact, consuming lemons and oranges helps to keep your body in good condition. They are good for your skin, tissues, muscles, bones, digestive system, and your heart. Just keep the same caution as you would with tomatoes. Decrease the quantity and don't have too many of them and you'll be fine. The last one was a food that we need to live. The next one, not so much. I'm talking about number four, alcohol. Many people enjoy a glass of wine after a long and tiring day. While one glass of wine won't kill you, more than one might be harmful. No, we aren't just talking about your liver here. This concerns your entire digestive system. Alcoholic drinks can increase the production of gastric acids. This can in turn cause problems for both your stomach and your heart. This is especially true for alcoholic beverages, such as beer and wine, which are low in ethanol. On the other hand, if you can limit your consumption, you won't be facing the ill effects so much. Limit it to a max of two glasses. The next food is used in many spicy dishes around the world. Number five, onions. In some parts of the world, onions are quite expensive, but they are still in high demand. From delicious curries in South Asia to onion rings in North America, though having too many of them is not at all recommended. This is especially true for people who have gastroesophageal reflux. In a study, 16 people with this problem were given a hamburger and a glass of ice water. The same thing was given to another group of 16 people who didn't have this problem. All the hamburgers contained onions. It turned out that the patients with gastroesophageal reflux experienced a slight amount of heartburn after the meal. This is because of the acidic nature of onions. So, if you have this problem, we would suggest that you reduce your consumption of onions. Speaking of onions, here's another smooth criminal. Number six, mayonnaise. Yes, the delightful little thing that you put on your sandwiches. 
Some people love it so much that they try to dip any snack in mayonnaise. While the taste may be interesting, too much can be harmful. Mayonnaise usually contains about 3 to 4 pH levels of acidity. That is quite high, and too much consumption may not end well for your stomach. Problems may include indigestion, as well as a burning sensation in your chest. We wouldn't tell you to stop having mayonnaise altogether, though. You can still enjoy it. As it is with every other food on the list, a little bit of mayonnaise would be fine. Just don't have too much. Number 7. Coffee We know caffeine gives you energy. Just ask anyone who works at night. Coffee is also the first preference of people who want to feel active before they start their day. While all of these things make coffee your friend, here's something that makes it your enemy. Coffee generally contains anywhere between 4.85 to 5.13 pH level of acidity. Not just that, coffee can mess with your sleep cycle in a not so good way. More importantly, you may end up with an upset stomach. Does all of that scare you? Well, don't worry, just limit your intake of coffee. Keep it at a maximum of two cups or mugs a day. If you can do that, you'll be fine. You won't have to deal with the acidic nature of your coffee. Oh, and make sure you stay hydrated all the time. All right, now that I've scared you with so many acidic foods, here are three non-acidic foods to enjoy. Number one, watermelons. Watermelons contain water, dietary fibers, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and natural sugars. What more could you ask for? This fruit is non-acidic. In other words, it's a good fruit to add to your diet. So the next time you see a watermelon at the grocery store, consider buying it. Moving on to the next one. Number two, broccoli. Broccoli is also on the list of non-acidic foods. On top of that, it's one of the best sources of vitamins and minerals. Broccoli is also known to help the process of digestion. It's especially good for your heart. We here at Bessie suggest you add it to your grocery cart the next time you're shopping. This brings us to the third food. Number three, turkey meat. Here's one white meat that you probably don't touch until Thanksgiving. Turkey meat is not only delicious, but it's also good for your heart. It contains tons of protein, carbohydrates, and minerals. More importantly, it's acid-free. A win-win scenario overall. Do you eat any of these foods? Would you consider cutting down after watching this video? Let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.